Hi, I'm Lana Jones with BlueBunnyHollow.com. Today I'll be showing you how to use stretcher frames with your embroideries. Let's start with the materials needed for this adventure. Stretcher frames. These come in many sizes. 10 ounce cotton non-gessoed canvas. A plastic mallet. Heavy duty staple gun. Fabric friendly marking pen canvas pliers, and a design to embroider. You can purchase pre-stretched canvas on frames, remove the canvas, embroider on it, and then staple it back to the frame. The problem with using pre-stretched canvas is most of it today is primed with gesso, and some are double primed with gesso. Gesso prepares the surface of canvas, wood, or paper so it is less absorbent and smoother to accept paint. Without gesso, the paint would soak in. However, when canvas is gessoed, it makes the canvas stiffer and you may experience shredded thread when embroidering. If it is double gessoed, you could have constant shredded threads when embroidering. Also, gesso could flake off and get into your embroidery machine. To avoid the shredding threads, it is better to use non-gessoed canvas. It is very hard, if not impossible, to find non-gessoed canvas on stretcher frames at the standard hobby and craft store. You can find a non-gessoed canvas on a stretcher frame at 1320 Creative. Here is their website. I found that purchasing the canvas 100% cotton and stretcher frames, then putting it together myself less expensive. We will go over putting the frame together in a few minutes. I purchased my canvas and stretcher frames from Dick Blick. You can also purchase different colors of 10 ounce cotton canvas, including black, on Amazon. Choose frames so they are approximately one and a half to two inches larger than the embroidery design on all sides. The design I'm using today is slightly smaller than 8 inches by 5 and a half inches, so I'm using an 8 inch by 11 inch stretcher frame. If the design being used is rectangle and not square, like the one I'm doing today, make sure you purchase two sizes of stretcher frames. I purchased two 8 inch and two 11 inch stretcher frames for my fish design. To make the frame, wiggle the ends together at the corner so they are snug. Use a plastic mallet to tap the edges if necessary. Then measure diagonally from corner to corner in both directions. If they are not the same, tap the corner again with a plastic mallet until they both are the same measurement. Put two staples in each corner. Cut the canvas six inches larger in both directions than the stretcher frame you are using. I cut the canvas 11 inches by 14 inches for the eight inch by 11 inch stretcher frame I am using. Since I will be pressing the design after embroidery, I steamed it a bit to shrink it because it is 100% cotton. Mark the center of the canvas all the way to the edges with a fabric friendly marker. I am using a friction pen. Center and hoop the canvas, then embroider the design. This design is from bluebunnyhollow.com and uses mylar. Unhoop the canvas when the embroidery is complete. Turn the pretty side down on a wool mat and press just the center area to remove the friction pen markings, leaving the markings at the edge of the canvas. Also, pressing an embroidery on a wool mat makes the embroidery look so beautiful. Transfer the center markings to the back side of the canvas. Make sure the markings go from edge to edge of the canvas. Mark the center of each side of the stretcher frame on the back side. Place the canvas pretty side down on the work surface. 
place the stretcher frame with wrong side up matching the marks of the frame with the marks on the back side of the canvas. Pull one side over the stretcher frame matching the drawn lines and staple in the center of the stretcher frame. Using canvas pliers, stretch the opposite side and staple in place. Use the canvas pliers to stretch on either side of the center staple and staple again. Repeat for the opposite side. Do the same for the two remaining sides. Finally, fold the corners so the fold is along the upper outer edge of the frame and staple in place. If you are not adding a fancy frame, I think this looks much better than having a diagonal fold along the edge. Repeat for the remaining corners. Thank you for watching this video and have a great embroidery adventure.